This is a look at what's making weather headlines across the nation on this Friday morning. The powerful storm system that brought over a foot of snow, coastal flooding and high wind to parts of the northeast is just about to depart the region. And now we settle into phase two of this system, which will be the very cold temperatures along with the extremely gusty winds. This is the view from Boston as the snow began to fall yesterday. Elsewhere across the region, the coastal flooding was the biggest concern with several inches of water along roadways. The National Guard has come in as a part of the recovery efforts across the area. The center of this low pressure is now to the north of Maine and will continue to see the winds wrap around this system counterclockwise. So that means for across the northeast that air will be coming right out of Canada and it is cold and windy, sending the wind chill value well below zero. Winds sustained over 20 miles per hour in places like New York and Philadelphia and the gusts will be even higher than that into the, the 30 mile per hour range. So that combination is leading to some extremely low wind chills across the region. The forecast lowest wind chill throughout the day today uh, will be in the 20 below range for places like Pittsburgh up through Burlington at 27 below feeling like 11 below in the Boston area and it will continue to stay very cold into the day tomorrow as well. So as I set the forecast into motion you'll notice uh, lingering snow will be in the lake effect favored, favored area areas and along the northern tier of the region well much of the rest of the region uh, the biggest concern will be uh, the cold weather that now will now take over just to the west of their high pressure up in Canada will gradually move across the Midwest and take over the Ohio Valley and the Great Lakes in the coming days bringing drier conditions however it will continue to remain quite cold and we have some snow across portions of the west so cold air across the Great Lakes and into the northeast even in Miami the high is only 62.